they showed up in that shirt? No, because that all of this, and they have a different story. At the end of the day, you're saying you want to work out for an NFL team, it's there for you. And you walk it, and then I bring up how he walks in with a Kuta Kente shirt. I said, if you've got 31 of the 32 owners who are white billionaires, how is that going to come across? You know what somebody said to me the other day? If he had to go to court, would he have showed up in that shirt? No, because that probably would have alienated you against the judge. The same principle applies. If you know that you want something, but you are you are displaying actions that gets in the way of you accomplishing that, where is that going to get you? And my last point is this. We got young brothers and young sisters out here who are looking at you, me, him, various others, role models, direction, how to act to get what you want. Kiss ass. What I'm saying is, yo, there's a whole bunch of people fighting for you, Colin Kaepernick. If you get in your own way by how you elect to handle something, how is that going to help you? T.O., you and I have had this conversation about you in the past. Where I Can I share something? Can I share something with y'all? I've been in this radio game for, and I keep saying this over and over and over. It's actually 7 o'clock in the morning where I'm at. I'm over here in Barcelona, 7 o'clock in the morning. I overstand some, some things, but these Negroes killed me with this. I respect my man T.O. I rocks with T.O. I know T.O. I know T.O., right? And I'm going to send him this video when I'm finished if he's not watching this. But this dude, let me tell you how crazy this is. I don't give a damn how many hours. Let me make this clear for Stephen A. Smith. I don't care how many hours your mama worked. My mother worked with nine children also. Nine children. Did not work for nobody else. My father had an eighth grade education. Since y'all want to talk about what his mother did to make him better. Listen to me. Listen to me. My father always raised us to be independent. My father raised us to say, don't get nothing on credit if you don't have the money, don't buy it. Because nobody can control you. Nobody can dictate to you. This dude, Stephen A. Smith, is really still, I don't care which way y'all look at it, he's controlled by them. Because as soon as they want to take what they gave him, he's going to lose his goddamn mind. Go back to what happened when he had to kiss ass before. Remember that? Go back when he said something, he was going to lose his job. Go back. See, we have short-term memories, man. Because no matter what you think you have, this man can take it. Create your own. I would not, listen, I've been in radio for 15 years. Let me make this clear. I keep saying this. 15, right? 15. They offered me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But behind all of that, is something that you can't say and you can't do. So T.O. wasn't wrong on what he's saying. You do have some of these so-called white boys. And in, 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 in actually, let me help y'all out. I'm gonna let y'all see this. Cause this dude said he's a Jew. He's not the original Jew. He's not a Jew. We are the original Jews. He's not the Jew. Cause he made a comment about Egypt. The Jews were you and these people right here. But you don't want to reject you being the original Jew. See, Stephen A. Smith can't say that. Stephen A. Smith can't say that he is the original Jew. But this dude said Egypt and the Jews. But yet, Colin Kaepernick said he's more black, even though I don't understand that word. But Colin Kaepernick did say that. See, they don't want to let somebody like Sabir Bay, who has a background in radio, to come on in and go at it with Stephen A. Smith. So he said, people look up to us as role models. Sabir Bay is nobody's role model. The only role model, let me make this clear, that I am is to my children. Did that make sense? But if y'all notice, they always get sports agents, sports commentators to actually speak for you. Niggas stay in your space.
Stay in your place, nigga. That's what they say. Nigga, stay in your place. They get sports commentators that know nothing about law and nothing about history. I don't give a damn how long he said while his mother worked 20 hours. My mother worked hours, hours on top of hours beyond 20 hours. Did that make sense, people? I'm just walking around in a hotel. Did that make sense? I hope I pissed somebody off. Did that make sense? Huh? Talk to me for a minute. This is what, this is what I am doing right now in a hotel. And, and you won't find black inside this dictionary. You won't find it. To tell Stephen A. Smith, let's have real conversation. Instead of kissing ass. I could have did that long time ago. I could have did it. Why compromise? So don't get mad at T.O. T.O. was right. You do have a lot of brothers. <laughs> and I don't care. You can email me, Stephen A. Smith. SabirBayRadio at gmail.com. SabirBayRadio at gmail.com. Facebook, Sabir Bay. Instagram, real Sabir Bay. Don't think that I'm doing this to get you to come because I've been doing it probably longer than you. I've been doing this way longer than you. Go research Sabir Bay. Just Google that name, Sabir Bay. The reason why I'm doing this is because everyone hit me up and have been asking me my thoughts on it as if he's the only person because he's the one that get thousands of dollars. He's the one get millions of dollars to keep you deaf, dumb, and blind. But yet, I'm over here getting ready to go to Tunis to go live with y'all in Tunisia, in the Carthaginian ruins. I'm going to leave to go to Carthage to talk about Islam, right? How Islam came about, how we fell. Stephen A. Smith ain't having a conversation. You know what he'll say? He'll say, Oh, that's not my field. He only talking about the Caribbean. Think about it. Why are he not talking about the original people that was called Indians were the people from the Bahamas and the Caribbean? Think about it. Think about it. Did you go to libraries at the university there? Which one? Listen. See, I'm not getting money like Stephen A. Smith, so you can hit my cash app up if you want to. Severe Bay Cash App. Okay, because I'm not getting money and I'm not compromising my position. I understand certain things that I, I have to be aware, aware of, but some things I won't just accept. So, in that book right there, I pulled out, go watch my videos on it. You won't find the word black in that book. You'll find Negro, Moro, and Morisco. I just want you to see. But y'all weren't about a goddamn sports commentator. A sports commentator? Stop playing. Stop. Stop playing, man. We are out to lunch. Anyone on TV won't discuss stories about the people they have black out. Listen, black me out. <laughs> Listen, black Sabir Bay out. Listen to me. Light penetrates darkness. Let me explain this to y'all. Thank you, my brother Lakeem. But y'all also can hit Severe Base Cash App up. No doubt. But light penetrates darkness like a mother friggin'. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so you can never say Severe Bay accepted any bullshit. You can't say Severe Bay left with a slept with some dudes. You can't say Severe Bay beat up women. You ain't gonna find that on me. Me though, you can join me out this mother freak because I'm gonna be in Tunis and going to the Carthaginian ruins live. So, yo, go to Facebook, sign up for Facebook because I will be going there. It's gonna be lit. I don't talk sports because I don't watch sports, I don't entertain sports. I don't watch sports, G. That's all they want niggas to do is talk about sports. But if you really talk about sports where it came from, I'll be in Seville too where they was cutting our heads off in Granada and Seville and burning our people, the Moors, you African-Americans and you blacks. Before it happened in the States, they were burning 
our people in Seville, hanging them, cutting them off. Where the hell y'all think football come from? Where do you think football come from? Y'all just think that it, that's not even football. If you talk to these people over here, they'd be like, niggas is out to lunch in this state. Because that's not football. Football is when you kick it with your foot. You call soccer. You call soccer. <laughs> but y'all got it, dude. Lost in translations like a motherfucker. Give thanks, my brother Lakeem. I appreciate you. That could be my coffee for the day. But this is insane. I respect T.O. Yes, but the Negroes call it football over there. When well, you throwing it with your hand. We out to lunch, man. So I hope, I hope Stephen A. Smith get this, man. Hope he get this. Hope he can have, he can email me. Everybody tell him, sabirbayradio at gmail.com. I've been doing it about 15, 15 years. You can tell him that. He can Google it. It's not hidden. It ain't hidden. Uh, I'm not with Taj. I'm in Barcelona right now. So Taj is good. Last time I checked, I'm in Barcelona getting ready to go to Tunis, the Carthaginian ruins. So I, he's all right. It's kind of cool. So this is a book. You won't find black inside this book. So let's kill that noise with, oh my God, but let me tell you about Stephen A. Smith. His mother worked... 20 hours a day just to make it better for him. My mother raised nine of us in the house working for herself. My father worked for himself and told us, if you don't have the money to pay, listen to me. Since y'all love to give out stories and try to, that's, that's, that's to make Stephen A. Smith feel good. That's to make him feel good. But my father told us, if you don't have the money to pay for something, he said, don't pay for it. He said, don't get it. Let me say this one more time. Because you got to kiss a lot of ass to keep that up. My mother stressed out. My mother stressed out because she went and got a car note to try to keep up with the Joneses. If we looked out for each other, Stephen's dad helped him. I don't know if his dad helped him. But my father had nine of us imagine. I want y'all to picture this in your head. Not in separate houses. Listen to me. Listen to me. In South Philadelphia, 22nd and Catherine, nine of us lived in the same house. Not even this. My brother had my niece at the age of 14, so now we had to add on another one. Think about it. Don't ask me that, yo, because I'm not even talking about no mortgages. I don't want no mortgages in the States. I don't even want to live in the States. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I don't even want to live in the States. I don't. Yo, you got to kiss a lot of booty out in that motherfucker. <laughs> so so I don't, don't ask me anything about mortgages, G. It's called debt. And I don't want to be in debt. The state has to keep you in debt. So talk to somebody that want to be a part of that. Sabir Bay don't want to be a part of that. I just told you all my story, my father. He had to do what he had to do because he had nine children. Not in separate houses. We was in the same house. Did I make... Did I say that? Not in separate houses, in the same house. Oh, did I say he went to the eighth grade and still raised us? Did I say that? I love my father. My mother and father were married for 53 years, dude, through all the hell. Let me say this. 53 years. 53 years they made it. My, I look at my father as a hero, G. 
okay? So I don't make up excuses for nobody and nothing. But when you sit up here and make up excuses for this dude, Stephen A. Smith, to talk about Colin Kaepernick because he won't get caught up in a contract. Y'all have to understand there's elements to contracts. Can I help y'all out? Can anybody give me the elements? Because I know you're watching. Give me the elements of a contract. It's 7 o'clock in the morning over here in Barcelona. Not if you have a U.S. passport. You're not over here. Yes, 53 years. Oh, my mother and father passed away. They gone. They passed away. Give me the three elements of a contract. Really, four. Let's see. This is, this is me. Live. Let me see the day's date. The, Friday, the 20, Friday the 22nd of November, 2019. In Barcelona, Spain, at 7.17 in the morning. God damn. And I'm sitting with y'all. So give me the elements, Stephen A. Smith, to a contract. Since y'all look up these sports aid, sports commentary, commentators as heroes and idols and role models. You give me two. I said give me three. It's three of them. It's really four. I'll wait. Can somebody tag Stephen A. Smith? Offer acceptance and consideration. Offer acceptance, consideration. If you offer somebody something, they accept it, then it's consideration. But there's another one. It's called the meeting of the minds. The meeting of the minds. The meeting of the minds. So now, in certain contracts, you cannot do certain things. You can't say certain things. So ask Stephen A. Smith, did he do that? Since y'all like to brag about these dudes. See, I don't want to be under contract. And if I went under the contract, if I, even, you know what's funny? When I went to the bank, it was, the lady asked me a question. She said, why did you put all rights reserved on here? Straight up. This is what the lady said to me in the bank. I said, I'm just reserving my rights. Don't y'all do that? Everybody reserved their rights. All rights reserved. Pick up a circular. Pick up a book. And you're going to see all rights reserved. You think it is your rights. It's not your rights. It's their rights. Does that make sense? It's not your rights. It's their rights. So they can change the contract when they want to change the contract. So I don't blame Colin Kaepernick. The problem is that we act like hoes because we want it so bad. I want it so bad. So now, three years down the line, two years down the line, you, they can pull that contract out and say, well, you signed it. You said you know what you was doing. You said you know what you was doing. So you went against the guidelines of the contract. Did that make sense, y'all? You're talking to somebody that didn't go to college. But this is called common sense. You should really look it up. It's called common sense. I didn't go to college for this shit, this right here. I've been saying this on radio for the longest. But see, the people that they boast up in front of you that you think is smart, that's who they put there. He's smart. He knows. He's on national TV. He's great. <laughs> Woo, we out to lunch, man. Bank teller and manager, if she could cash my check because I reserve my. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. So my job is to is to make you aware. Is to make you aware. You follow me? Common sense. It was a sister from Sudan that said people don't even need. Why do people need a book for common sense when things are common sense? Why would what? I wish I could sit with Colin Kaepernick. I would listen and see, this is the scary Negroes. He said, listen to me. Hold on. I got to play this video. I got to play this part again. Hold up. He said, would you go to court with a Kunta Kente shirt on? Nigga, I will go to court with a gospel of hip hop. Listen to me. Let me help you out, Stephen A. Smith. Because he said, would, he said, would you go to court with a Kunta? Hold up. You said tongue in cheek. You said that Stephen A. Which is, first of all, I can't eat anymore all the cookouts. 
He said, would you go to court with, his, <laughs> with a Kunta Kente shirt on? Niggas be going to courtroom swearing on the Bible when the Bible say don't swear. The Bible says don't swear because you can't turn one hair gray. Why the hell you in the courtroom with a Bible? That island work ethic I see Stephen A. as having inherited not only a respect for authority, but a, a, a working knowledge of reality. And what listen, listen to this. No excuse, did Not only a respect for authority, but a, a, a working knowledge of reality and what it takes to get ahead. No excuses. You can always... Did he just say respect for authority? <laughs> it's people like him. Kyle, I mean, Stephen A. Smith. Respect for authority. Listen to me. If you pay your tax dollars, help me out, somebody. Get Stephen A. Smith on the line. Tell him to email me. Because if you pay your tax dollars to the police, I play chess every day. Let me make this clear for you, Stephen A. Smith. I play chess every day. But... If you pay your tax dollars to the police, do the police tell you what to do or do the, you tell the police what to do? Somebody talk to me for a minute because I'm going to have fun. It's 7 o'clock in the morning over here. Let me ask you a question again. No, he was, he was speaking on Stephen A. Smith. This guy was speaking on T.O. was like, he's more black than Stephen A. Smith. So that's the scenario. So that's what happened. But a, a Stephen A. Smith, who do the police work for, homie? Because I know hopefully he get this video. I hope y'all can tweet this to him. Who do the police work for? Is it the people or the corporations? He said authority. And then again, what authority? I know this is kind of, I know this kind of like, you don't know, confuses. I don't know. What the fuck. It's early in the morning. I ain't getting my coffee. But if I'm the author of something, I becomes the authority. If I'm the author, I am the authority. So what makes a police officer the authority? The only authority should be is your parents. Talk to me for a minute. This is called Common Sense Conversation. This is Sabir Bay on the road. Show. It never stops. So help me out. I'm trying to figure it out. Let's go a little further. I'm going to hear some more. For excuses. You can look for things to lean on. You can look for where it's not perfect. Or you can do what you have to do, which is what Stephen A has done. And what you hear what he said? For him and provided that opportunity. And Stephen A, I hope it's okay that I'm saying this now. I have a lot of admiration from everything, uh, no, for your mother, from everything I understand. Um, and I would say that his, his, that your point of view, Stephen A, T.O. Stephen A's point of view is not less black necessarily than someone else's who's more strident it is more conservative in certain respects and my point of view is oftentimes more progressive my own back hold up is can i tell you something do you know i had this book called portuguese in west africa how many people saw me with that book when the hbcu in houston texas listen to me H, the so-called, there is no black colleges. Let's kill that noise. There is no such thing as a black college. Help me out. Because the only black college that I see is about slavery, and that's what they talk about in their Pan-African studies. In their Pan-African studies, they teach you about slavery. Nothing before slavery. Now, I haven't been to Morocco. I'm in Spain right now. I've been up to Granada, Seville. I'm going to go to Tunis, right? What black HBCU is teaching anything about history before slavery. Talk to me for a minute. I'm telling you, I'm going to stir some stuff up. What black college is teaching history before slavery? What black college? So he said Stephen A. Smith is more conservative. The conservative bullshit is what's killing us. Because the sister that wanted to teach have this book, I has a book called Portuguese in West Africa. The, the professor had the exact same book and told the student that she could not come out of this book because TS, the TS, what's it, HBCU or TSU, it's called TSU. That's what it's called. The TSU. They said the, that this is a conservative. School. I'm gonna see if I can find the book. 
on my pad because I don't feel like going upstairs because I brought it with me. I'm going to help you out. The professor at TSU told the student that she could not come out of the book because this is a conservative school. What the hell? Hold up. I'm going to see if I can show you the book. <laughs> Give me one second. Where I could be. It's called Portuguese in West Africa. I'm always happy. She. <laughs> I'm always happy. I'm just tired of nigga stuff. That's all. I'm on my way to, to Carthage. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find this book. We out to lunch, man. Here you go. This is my book. This book, right, that the TSU in Texas said we could not come out of this book. And the book talks about the Moors inside this book. She said, we can't come from, she said, we can't because it's a, do y'all see the problem? I keep trying to tell y'all, I'm over Spain. Do you know how many, they don't hide anything over here. They don't hide anything. They telling you. They'll tell you the history. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. And the sister called her mother up, upset. And she contacted me and said, I'm upset, Severe. Her mother said, it don't matter. This is when you raise real people, real men and women. Because I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, all these niggas going to get their nigga wake-up call. They all going to get their nigga wake-up call. It's coming to a stair near you. <laughs> it's coming to a neighborhood near you. I don't know where I'm going at. Y'all asking me all these questions. You supporting to me to go with these places? Because none of these places are free. None of these places, places are free. You are so handsome. Okay, give thanks. So you can go to Cash App if you keep asking me, because I am going to Italy also. There's a lot of history happening in Italy. These are my books. This is how I rock. I rule out. Logic, common sense, and thinking for yourself. You see how I, this is me traveling in Gaudi's hotel. Okay? Let me help him out. Maury, a dark race, not dark religion. And I will be going live over there. I'm going to do a vlog over there too in Tunis. Only for a short period of time. But I am getting ready to get all my stuff together so when I come back, I'm ready for these lectures, y'all. Just for the Q&As when I come back to the States. Dark race living in northern part of Africa. See races. Africa. Prehistoric and modern. The name. You see this? I want y'all to see. The 5th to the 8th century. So let's ask them to talk about this. The Arabs who conquered Spain were Moors. So they were talking about you. Right? But we don't want to read this kind of stuff. Hold up. Who influences your thinking? Let me see if I can clean this mother freaking. I need y'all to get this clear. Who influences your thinking? We often listen carefully to what famous person says. As we can recall, we also get ideas from the mass media. Many of these ideas are propaganda. See that? Propaganda. So let's see if black is inside this diction in this book right here over in Spain. Let's see. Blanca. Let, let's see if it's in here, y'all. Let's see if black is in here. Color. Let's go down. Do y'all see it yet? Negro is right there. Negro. Right? So you don't see black. Let's go down. 
So black is not in here. Y'all see that? Y'all can listen. <laughs> what up? Long as we talk about black slaves, man. Black slaves, we all right. Hold up. Exactly. It means like Casablanca. Like Casablanca. Oh, y'all not trying to. It's, it's Casablanca. Negro, right? So Negro and Moro is synonymous. Y'all need to watch all the videos, man. She sent me something pre-Black Friday sale. I just got a message said pre-Black pre Friday sale. It's not in here. Go watch all the videos. It's not in here. This is a book in Spain. Damn, that breakfast smells so good in there, man. I'm going to go back upstairs and try to get some sleep before I get out of here. Listen, I'm, I've been all over, so I just didn't do a lot of showing. I, I didn't do a lot. It's called, they don't say more, M-O-O-R over. They say muddle. They don't say more, people. They say muddle, M-O-R-O. Okay? M O R O. The more is just not spelt. Okay, this is a Spanish word, muddle, morisco. You see that? Morano, muddle. They don't say the way we say it. But you won't get it from a university. You're not going to get it from a university. And Morris, stop talking that shit because y'all don't even know what the hell y'all talking about. And I'll talk about that when I go to Tunis. Because there's a lot of stuff about this kingdoms and this, trust me, I'm going to sit with the indigenous people in Carthage. Y'all be talking crazy. Some of these Moors need to get the hell up and travel. Stop watching these videos, man. Seriously, yeah, I'm cursing early in the morning because I'm pissed. Because y'all take a video and listen to it and run with it. Oh, well, he said such and such and such and such. Well, he said... Well, go sit on ground zero. Come to these places and sit with these people. Because there's a whole lot I can share with y'all. I just won't until I get back. I told y'all, these some of these cats, we want something for nothing. So I didn't did this so many times. I, if this was my book, I should mark this book up anyway. Hmm. I should mark this book up. This is Amazic right here. This is Amazic from the Atlas Mountains. You can only buy this in the Atlas Mountains in Morocco. I bought this up there, okay? I told you, I go to these places, man. That's the Amazic piece, which means free people. It means free people. The problem is, let me share something with y'all. Europeans will pay their people thousands of dollars to go travel the globe. And But when they come back, they will come back telling you, you're black Americans, you're a slave. That's it. Yeah, I know the maps would change, G. You think I don't know that? Come on, man. I live in, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm, I'm from where the old maps is at in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, when I go back, maybe I'll go live in there. 
maybe I'll go live. I talked about this. I don't know where, where y'all getting y'all information from, but I talked about this over 17, 18 years ago. None of this stuff is new. So a lot of you cats are new jacks on here, okay? I know y'all new jacks. I was doing this before there was an Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Okay? Well, they're killing our people in the States. What difference does it make? If they're not killing you mentally, they kill, they're killing you physically. Why? Because they know exactly who you are. <laughs> you think it's the complexion of your skin that they're killing you? You really think it's the complexion of your skin? Or is that they know who you are and you don't know who you are? But come over here. They'll tell you. The kingdom of Morocco is not in the extreme west. How do you know that? Did you come over here? Where's your facts at? Y'all be playing, boy. Where's your facts at? Where did you get that information from? Help me. Where do you get that information from? <laughs> Tell me somebody said it. I'm going to push your buttons, G. Oh, I heard it from uh, such and such. I heard it from such and such. Do they treat you? Yeah, I'm, every time. This ain't my first time over here. I come over here all the time. Listen, let me, let me run it down to you. I done been in Seville many times. Cordova many times. What else? Granada. He said, stop giving up. He said, stop. Hold up. Hold up. Stop giving up all that small side game. Ooh, stop. Okay, I'm going to stop giving it up. I know because they on this mother freak. They're going to steal it anyway. They're going to regurgitate what I say. So y'all can book me. Let me give you this. I'm going to get off here. Hit me up, sabirbayradio at gmail.com. Sabirbayradio at gmail.com. My man said stop giving up the, the small side gems, G. Or if y'all want to sit, sit with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do charge. It's going up to $200 for an hour to talk with me. Two hundred and hours, two hundred. You can book me in your city, your town, wherever you at. So my fam says, stop giving it up. That's right, small side Philly, baby. Or y'all can hit my cash app up. I gotta come down and get some. This. So he says, stop. Don't try to bait me into the bullshit because it don't work. It don't work, Jay. So whatever y'all thought y'all saw or heard these videos, stop. Next time you see me, I'll be in Tunis, y'all. So I just want Stephen A. Smith to stop playing games, bro. I understand compromising certain things, though. Nothing. Get ready to go to Tunis. That's about it. Oh, wow. Cool. What is this? What the hell? It's the bomb. Hmm. Gaudi. Y'all keep asking me that I check out all these things. No, man. It costs finances to do what I'm doing. So support it. Ask me how I did all this stuff. This ain't my first time here. Ah, uh, y'all just don't get it. I know some of these Moors can't leave the states. They be coming up with these fake passports type situations. <laughs> It's over 10,000 years old. I got a story behind that too. <laughs> I, got a, I got a whole story behind that flag too. <laughs> I got more is mad at me. The Moroccan ch church. It's in Massachusetts. Okay, y'all gonna see a lot when I go to Tunis. Why Tunis? 
Um, that's the birthplace of Islam. It is. Oh, here got my book right here, yo. Told you I travel like this. Thought I was playing. Travel like this. Oh, y'all thought I was fronting. Oh, you thought I was fronting. Oh, and I'm definitely gonna have my feds on. Nope. I'm, well, I'm film materials, but I would not be going live. Where the hell is my GoPro? Where's my GoPro? Oh, here you go. Yeah, I'm only doing... I will be filming. Yeah, y'all, what are you talking about? I, I introduced that new KRS one John. Go listen to my YouTubes. I introduced it. So I'll be filming. So what y'all gonna get is basically commentary. Somebody just say they surprised the FBI is not following me. Why y'all worrying about the FBI following somebody, yo? You worry about that kind of stuff if you're doing something wrong. Who worries about that? If you're doing something wrong, then you worry about the FBI. God damn, threat about what? Y'all I'll be y'all worry about the smallest things, G. If you walk with Jesus, if you walk with I'm trying to fix something, bear with me. If you walk with Jesus, and you walk with Allah, if you walk with Buddha, if you walk with Confucius, you don't worry about this, man. I don't worry about this, man. I'd have been shot too many times. I worry about niggas. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. I worry about niggas. Not them, niggas. Because they the ones that do you dirty because of jealousy and envy. I feel, listen, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I feel more safer here than I do in the States. Did that make sense? More safer here than in the States. But listen, I got a great go, y'all. I got to get myself together. I appreciate everybody. Do some research. Stop going on Wiki. Support the people that is actually putting the work in. Please support the people that's putting the work in. So I got to go. <laughs> you know. So Stephen A. Smith, man, holla at your boy. El Hajmini found out America is the Maghrib. How you know? Malcolm said that. Stop with the bullshit, okay? Did Malcolm say that? Malcolm never said that. He never said that. And I studied Malcolm since I was 15, 16 years old. Stop. I've never heard Malcolm say that. Never. Take that to whoever you heard say it before. Never heard Malcolm say that. Yes, we was in America too, but I never heard Malcolm say that. Run right tell that. He said. Yeah, because I don't, I don't even curse on videos. It's just that I'm tired of dudes with the nonsense that comes across the YouTube. And cursing sometimes is a good thing. It's a good thing, like laughing. Laughing is a good thing. And cursing is too. It depends on what your definition of curse. Because you cursing every day when people say black. You're cursing at me every day. So, give me your definition of curse. When you write your name, you're cursing your name. When you write in curse of, you're cursing yourself. <laughs> That's that small side in you. Yeah, nigga, I'm the small side. Damn, man, I'm, I'm South Philly, baby. 22nd and Catherine. Don't get it twisted. I am Philly. The nigga do come out of me. They say you can take the dude out the streets, but not the street out the dude. So it don't matter. All the way in Barcelona. <laughs> and I still go home. That's right, 22nd Street, Umab. They don't know what the Umab is. Or oh, they just thought I walked into this conscious stuff. <laughs> they really think I just walked into the consciousness. Oh my God. Severe so the conscious. Nah, dude. I was 
I've been shot in the streets, hustled in the streets, walked in those streets, and I still have it. And I'm still being me. No doubt. Still being me. No, it's not important to change your name. Why? You don't want to change your name. And why? I'm going to give you this. So please hit that boy cash app up. Saberbis cash app. No, you don't need to change your name. Do I know what ill? Do y'all know my name says Bay? Do y'all know my stuff say Bay? Do you do know my, I do say Bay, right? Let me see if I can find something for y'all. You do know my name is a Bay, right? You want to ask me that question again? <laughs> so, listen, let me tell you something before I go. Let me tell you something. A lot of these dudes on YouTube and Facebook try to throw things at me because y'all don't get it. They be trying to get me to say stuff for free, but they can sit with me for two for an hour for two hundred dollars, or they can book me in their city. Don't do that to yourself. I've been in this game for a very long time, and I'm not Taj Tariq Bay. They just sit up and say, "Well, Taj said for free." Taj don't travel the way I travel, and I am not Taj Tariq Bay. That is my brother, and that is my elder. I am not, and don't listen. Let me make this clear. Don't try to take bits and pieces from this. I'm not Taj Tariq Bay. From hotels to flights. Research. It's called research. That's the problem with a lot of these moors because they don't do their own research. So I got to go, y'all. It was real. But your boy got to go. All right? Do what you do. I'm going to tell people do what you do, but get a passport. I'm going to just tell y'all that. I'm going to keep it 100. Get a passport, G. That's all I'm going to say to you is get a passport. And any of these moors is telling you that you don't need it, Tell them to show you going through customs, not a damn video when you somewhere else, going through customs. So I got to get ready to get to Carthage, man. I appreciate everybody, man. Do your research on what I'm saying. Don't follow me. I don't need you to follow me. I need you to think for yourself. Peace. All the way from Barcelona.